going to be doing the solution to the Macro Monday challenge, which is basically set up a user form um, that, that basically masks the characters, which is kind of like what you would do for a password. Um, this is kind of a good initial exercise in just using user form. So if you've never used a user form, this is a really, really good one. Uh, make sure that you're going to watch this to the end. Also, if you don't know how Macro Monday works, I post a video on Monday, I post a solution on Friday with code. Um, and so that's what I do. I just basically trying to help everybody get better at their VBA, basically automate little bits and pieces of their world. It's what I've done, um, saved myself tons of time. So hopefully I'm helping you guys as well. All right, so we're gonna dig in. So how do you make a user form? Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make that user form. Now, uh, we're not gonna do a whole lot once we have the user form, but I'll kind of go through that, um, go th through that with you. So you're gonna go into your VBA editor, that's Alt F11. Um, and then we're, instead of making a module, we're actually going to do a user form. So we're going to make a user form. We're not going to call it anything. Um, if you wanted to rename it, you could rename it here. Um, and then you should have a little toolbox that shows up in this. In this, um, also should show up in your editor bar. You can left click um, and click. I think it's edit or user form or one of those um, will give you this. But really all we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text. So this is the label. And so this is, we're gonna call this password. I'm probably gonna misspell something. It's gonna be pretty exciting. This is a input box, right? We're gonna make it long and narrow. Now, in order to do this, um, let me see here. It is one second here. So we've got password character. So we're gonna put in a little star here. So that really all that is, is it's gonna say, you know what, instead of adding characters, you're gonna enter a password. And so that's gonna come across as password. Now all we need to do is we need to add a couple buttons. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is gonna be, I didn't wanna click on that. Um, you'll notice when you click on these, it's gonna give you the, if you double click, it's gonna take you to the code in the back end. We don't want that quite yet. So we are going to come in here and we're gonna go, uh, okay. And we're just gonna do two buttons. We're gonna do okay. And then we're gonna do cancel. Okay. A little, I like, I like stuff to be symmetrical. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to make this symmetrical. Bring that in. Oh my gosh. Probably drive you guys nuts. Okay. So this is gonna be my okay button. This is going to be my cancel button. Okay, we're gonna shrink this up just a tad, just to make sure that we're, we are good to go there. All right, so now we have a basic form. Now, um, first thing that we're gonna do is on this cancel, we're just gonna type in, um, this is the first thing we're doing. This is kind of the end, but it's also the easiest. When you click that button, now you'll notice that that button is called command button two. Um, we're just going to go unload me. And that basically means, hey, um, you've clicked this uh, and I'm done. So we're, we're going to just cancel this. Now we do need to do some things on the private private um, form. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Now, if I double click on this, I can go back in here and double click on that. It's just going to take me to command button, click one. Now typically I'll rename these. Um, and I didn't necessarily do that initially, but I did. I did over time because then you get you kind of know where you're at. As you write longer code, it's important just to name things right. So we're going to say if me dot. Uh, what is that? Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get what that input box name is. So that is going to be oh, it's text box. I wonder if it's having issues. Okay. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go if text box equals, um, and we're going to do ABC one, two, three. And it's all caps. And then we're just going to simply do a message box. Um, it says, uh, yay, the password was correct. And that's it. So then you would enter code. Um, you could also enter an else, the password was incorrect, which actually, let's go ahead and do that. 
right here. Um, actually, let's not do that. It just, I, I would do that if I was doing this normally, um, but in this case, I, I'm not going to just because then it adds another if, if statement. I think that just makes this tutorial actually a little bit more complex. So now we've got our user form, which is great, but how do we call that user form? Now you always call user forms with a module. So we're going to create a module and this is going to call, we're going to call this sub uh, call form. And we are going to go user form one dot show. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through we're going to go through this user form. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign this macro here. And, um, I'm going to assign it and then we're going to walk through each step. Um, so I'm going to click this. It's going to call my module, which is my macro. And then that macro actually calls my user form. So I'm going to hit F8. It's going to put in my password. And I'm going to type in a, an incorrect password. Um, which I'll just do whatever. So my stars are coming in. So I'm going to click OK. And it does not like message box because it's spelled incorrectly. I'm going to hit F8 again. It's spelled correctly. Is my text box equal to that? No, that's actually what I, what I typed in. That's funny. So I'm going to end. Um, and that form is still there. So then I'd have to hit cancel. Now if I hit cancel, um, it go ahead, it just closes that form. So let's do that one more time. Let's do it correctly though this time. So we're going to come in here. Um, I do want to show, I do want to show you just how, how recursive this is. So um, one of the things that's difficult with these forms is you just have to keep in mind that the code keeps going. You end up kind of writing a recursive, um, a recursive line. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna put in if x equals x, then x, which doesn't do a whole lot, but it's gonna, just gonna show you the whole work process of this whole thing. So we're gonna take this back here. Then x equals one. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna hit F. I'm gonna show the form, which is great. I'm gonna type in a correct a b c one two three. I'm going to hit enter. Yay, the password was correct. Now I don't close it, so that would be the next thing that I'd need to do. Um, and I clicked unload, and then we're going to run that last code. So notice we go module to the form, we execute all of the form, that's very important, and then once all of the form is done, that form goes back to the module to run what's, whatever is next. And so um, you can get yourself in trouble if you're, if you're not keeping in mind that um, when you're doing these things, you still basically always follow an order and sequence. So a couple things just to clean this thing up. So if we did yay, we, the password is correct. We are just going to go, um, we're going to go uh, command, no, user form, is it just one? User form, yeah, user form one dot hide. And really, this is just going to clean it up. So if the password is correct, um, and then we probably should do an else here. Let's do wrong password. Okay, so now we have a complete form. We're going to hit F8. We're going to hit the wrong password, wrong password. And then to get out, you just hit cancel. And then when you hit cancel, you're going to hit unload me. Now remember, we're within the set, we're within the user form, and now we go back to the module to actually complete that. All right, so that is your Macro Monday challenge, which is making a user form that does something or actually is password protected. That's a really good intro to, to doing a, a, a user form. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel, liking me on Facebook. Um, if you really like this video, post it on Reddit. That would be awesome. Have a great day.